over there and support them and their team uh, individually. Uh, but for right now, we're going to go ahead and get into game number three, or at least that's sh what it should be. Let me check and make sure I got my overlays. Chat are still spamming. You guys are the best. Uh, and thanks to everybody for tuning in. Uh, 15,000 people watching a stream that would be kind of difficult to watch if it weren't for Twitch.tv supporting streams that have a lot of viewers but aren't partnered by offering and coding. So a special shout out to them to uh, Zhao Wei Zhao. In somewhat of a difficult position right now. I feel like if you're Gragas at this point, you may possibly have uh, have, a, have a need to change your, uh, your undergarments. Because holy cow, he just stood there and watched Team Solo Mid walk all the way past him. Now where do you go? He started Barrel Roll! Zhao Wei Zhao! Breaking my vocal cords. Uh, Axe hits the wall. <laughs> nice one there, odd one. Will not be able to catch in on to Zhao Wei Zhao. Was in a little bit of trouble, but uh, still a buff and bait. Here as a special wild turtle and the odd one will look to come over here. Steal away the blue buff to start. Uh, it's going to be a blue buff steal there from No Name, so no surprises there. And you guys can stop with the molly. I'm, I'm okay. I'll go ahead and do team introductions. If you guys are just now joining us, uh, welcome to the stream. I am Rapid. Uh, I shoutcast every North American tournament that is not uh, Riot or MLG related. MLG tournaments, you have to look to... Uh, Dan E. Gad Caruso is floating around in chat somewhere or another. But, uh, yeah, and welcome to the stream. These are ranked 5v5s games from the 5v5 ladder between Team Solo Mid, one of the best teams in North America. They are Expecial and Wild Turtle as the duo lane. Bjergsen in the mid now on Orianna. Odd one in the jungle on Olaf. Yeah, and uh, Dyrus, top lane on Shivana. He got a little bit dumpstered. Last game, got a save by uh, TC Ackerman, who is actually uh, godlike. If you guys have ever watched LMQ's, um, uh, what am I looking L LPL games. Then yeah, definitely. If you guys don't watch LPL or don't watch uh, a lot of Chinese League of Legends, hit it up, uh, www.esportcalendar.com. You can find every single League of Legends tournament ever out there. Um, godlike can't make it back to the turret in time. This is going to be a huge minion wave. There's now Odd One coming up to take a very early turret. This is the same strategy. That, um, that TSM did last game. I'm not sure why Godlike's walking back to turn. A lot of damage down there onto a special. Another Sonic Wave to land. Odd One wants to play this away, but for right now, it's going to be how fast can he clear out the minion wave. X special taking up the turret. He's going to be most likely forced to flash out. First blood. Two kills go the way of Team Solo Mid. Diving down, taking out Godlike and No Name, and probably the first turret. Dyrus, though. Looks to get Dove down in the bottom lane. He makes it out alive with just 100 hit points. 90 to be precise. Alright, uh, keep in mind I'm also just like a little bit sick and have been casting all day long. So that is why I'm supporting the Coke Zero Challenger League with my 32 ounce glass of water. Eggerman will be able to stop. Wild Turtle stops him from going back to base, and uh, No Name now coming in there. Nice Flame Choppers. Where is the Q to come out? Damage from Ackerman. Wild Turtle, uh, <laughs> please stop. Begs for mercy. Godlike takes him out there. So a nice kill on an overextended AD carry. Nice stop of the recall, too, there by Godlike. Scoreboard, please. What's wrong with the scoreboard? Oh, yeah, I'm lining it up. <laughs> I'm so new. I, I expect teams to, like, do this for me when they get into Champion Select, but, uh... That's why I need wonderful people like Nubeus. Great League of Legends shoutcaster in his own right. Uh, special will be able to claim a few CS for himself. It's going to be the Relic Shield. Or not Relic Shield, uh, Ancient Coin. I literally saw Ancient Coin and said Relic Shield. So I've been casting a lot of League of Legends today. Hold on a second. Either way, Team Solo Mid uh, may be facing some pressure here in the mid lane as Bjergsen has odd one there for... The counter gank, Wei Zhao, or Zhao Wei Zhao, more accurately. Very low. Odd One will just take himself a uh, Wraith Camp? No. Backs off and does know that, uh, hey, No Name's right there to smite it away. Don't want to have Smite Wars with your Smite down for another five seconds. Axe to come out will hit No Name. Free damage for basically infinite mana, but with a Godlike coming in from behind, an immediate barrier, and there's the disengage. No mana on Bjergsen, no barrier either. Zhao Wei Zhao's got some mana, but does have a lot of problems with the health department. Not the actual health department. I'm not sure if he's been like, contaminating his, his wine or something, but making it back to base as soon as possible. But DSM are just really not letting up the pressure.
Zhao Wei Zhao taking a ride on the wild side, now heading back to base at long last. Actually, we just saw this in the Curse versus Cognitive game. What you do is you find a lane that's mana dependent, you walk to that lane, and then you put so much pressure on it that the laner can't recall. And then you just keep gipping that lane, making it so weak that you could put on a ton of pressure there, maybe take some objectives elsewhere, and it was a strategy that Curse used really well on Chris's Elise. But just, just a small illustration of that. Very early on in the game, uh, Godlike pushed back to his second tier turret. It's only one turret advantage, but at the same time, it signals that, hey, TSM were actually able to take a turret off of their lane mismatch. The 2v1 lane giving them that global gold. Interesting thing for me is that TSM actually are not, uh, are not taking down dragons as early as we'd expect. Um, I think we saw a five and a half, six and a half minute dragon like that in game number two. And I think we saw something similar to that in game number one, but either way... Yes, we do actually have mods, they're just not doing their job. So, Shiit gets banned, that's a little bit rough to deal with. Sub mode's now on. I don't have subscribers, rest in peace. Hopefully, eventually, I'll get there. More is gonna take a lot of damage, his X-Special starts the fight. Immediately, the counter gank comes in from No Name, is now X-Special takes a little bit of damage. Very, very tanky there, with that shield, the Daybreak on. But no, it's actually the Eclipse, and now X-Special, the Sealy! Takes him out there with the Piercing Light. Keep in mind, this is 3.15 patch, so Lucian actually got that Piercing Light damage nerfed. Still able to grab a kill. Hire me Rapid, no Wormy Flipper. I do not have money. I am a poor Shoutcaster. Streaming the League of Legends. Uh, I should probably raise my raise my scoreboards. <laughs> the things I say and shouldn't have. Vasily. Down there in the bottom lane, pushing it onto the turret. Look at the, uh, let's check out the early game builds. It's just Dorian Shield versus Engage there by Dyrus. He's going hard in that pain, taking down Acker, uh, Ackerman, aka Godlike, down to about three, four hundred hit points. Do I have slow mode? Can mods slow mode for me, please? I, I think I can actually slow mode here. I, I don't know how this, how, how, does, how to stream, what is League of Legends, how does it work? I don't know. But I'm here casting it, so hopefully there's at least somewhat of an understanding. Uh, just like special. His CC presence zoning Zhao Wei Zhao away from this blue buff. He's looking for the steal. Has that level 6. There's the smite! And he grabs it! Over the wall! Early smite there by Odd One. And Zhao Wei Zhao with the steal of the last two minutes. I don't want to say steal of the century, because century is a long time, guys. But uh, either way, grabs the blue buff away. No blue buff for Bjergsen. That actually does mean that... Uh, Jungle Lee Sin, while not necessarily needing a blue buff, will be able to take the next one. Away there from Wei Zhao. Look at that Arden Blaze into Light Slinger passive combo. Takes a chunk out of Wild Turtle. Like special? He's playing Leona. Now, Leona's a big all-in support. He's going up against Annie, one of the best hard-engaged late-game teamfight supports you can get. Leona's one of those as well, but as a melee, you don't have that 625 range that uh, Moore currently has to offer. <laughs> I don't know what Prius is doing. How can I, I don't know why I modded Prius. He has like these two tiny dog paws and he's trying to mod chat the best he can, but it's just not working out. You guys are a little bit too much. Yes, my voice is breaking. I have been casting for the last six hours in a row and I'm solo casting, which means that probably won't be able to talk tomorrow. So if TSM are playing MLQ tomorrow, you guys are going to have to watch that one on mute. Either way. Thank you for repping the FGC, Ponza. Um, I am actually going to uh, go get some water, turn off my camera. I'm going to put this on directed camera. I'll be right back. In my absence, we're going to see Bjergsen get beset by all sides. The body slam does not connect. Bjergsen flashing away there from the CC. Wei Zhao does not hit it, which means it's going to be a longer cooldown there on the body slam. Dyer's coming in, and Godlike and Wei Zhao will have to back on out, but it is the dragon. The Sealy, no name and more, taking it out. I'll be right back and grab some water and uh, enjoy the directed camera. Let me know what happens in chat. Be right back. Be good, guys.
All right, I left you guys. I'm back. I have some water. My voice will hopefully not crack every single time. Uh, I don't know if you guys can like unsub mode chat or something. Maybe just put on like a nice slow mode. Um, something like that. <laughs> Are you a good mod? Are you dumb? Yeah. Requesting PMs from chat. You guys can send me private messages. I will most likely disregard most of them. But if you have good things to say, then hopefully you're going to be nice about things. I'm trusting the internet here. I feel like that's something I should not necessarily do. Either way, uh, I'm back. Let me know if there's something up with the stream if I need to change things. Um, instantly 10 messages. Wow, you guys are the best. Uh, let me check messages really fast to see what's going on. Not all that much action. Wei Zhao body slamming in probably wasn't the best idea. More damage to come out. Is Bjergsen really forcing that damage? Really punishing Zhao Wei Zhao from getting in there. But he's got a ton of sustain. Has a blue buff. Whereas... Uh, Bjergsen does not. Barrel spam underneath the turret, but Body Slam's down for five seconds. Forced to blow the flash. Perfect gank that timing there for Odd One. Odd One's going hard in that pain. Underneath the turret does not find a kill, but we'll still be able to wave clear that out. And that actually puts a disadvantage on Zhao Wei Zhao. Because now he's not able to uh he's not able to wave clear. He's not able to go up there and body slam the minion wave. Just has to clear it out there with uh with barrels. I think I just said he wasn't able to wave clear. That's Probably not the most intelligent thing I've ever seen, so bear with me, guys. It's uh, it's been a long day, but yeah, okay. It's freedom for chat. Be good, guys. Um, DJ Lambo likes asterisks. Man, I mean, I'm a pretty big fan of asterisks too. But thanks for the thanks for the feedback, DJ Lambo. I I too am an asterisk lover. <laughs> that feel. When you accidentally have safe mode turned on. And then Command Shockwave right on top of Bjergsen. A few other things on top of Bjergsen. That will be an Ignite and three champions. Last hit. Almost there for more. As he was taken out. Uh, let's, let's see what we have for, for feedback here. Yes, ex Atri, I am having fun. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, sorry, I was just checking messages there for a second. Uh, in the downtime, I'm still like totally new to this whole streaming thing. So if you guys are enjoying it, let me know what you want more of. You can do that uh, by tweeting at me at RapidCasting on Twitter or sending me a message on my Facebook page at uh, Facebook.com slash RapidCasting. Um, probably Twitter works better, but either way, if you guys are enjoying it, let me know what you want to see more of. Right now, I get the feeling that you guys are interested in seeing Team Solo mid play against LMQ. So, that's what I'm, uh, that's hopefully what you guys are uh, enjoying right now. Uh, Ackerman is actually godlike. He's top lane. And there's the dive in from Dyrus. I've seen Dyrus actually do this a lot. Just get the slightest, tiniest, little bit of an advantage and just go all in off of it. And it's good because Shivana actually has a pretty low cooldown ultimate. You get, uh, lower cooldowns by auto-attacking. Works out pretty well. Double Doran's the build there from Dyrus. He's actually doing the exact same build that Godlike did last game with the double Doran's into Sunfire Cape. But this time around, it does look like he's going to be... Oh, there's the engage there. It's actually super mega death rocket from over the wall. Vasily's going to get beset by the odd one. Wei Zhao misses the body slam, and there's going to be damage to come back out. The cuddling at long range. Dragon's Rage will be enough to pick up the kill. War jump over the wall, not in time. There's a real ward. As now it's... Uh... I'm not sure why I said that. No Name does go down, but it's a one-for-one. One. Trading out junglers there is No Name and the odd one. Going down. Vasily's going in there. Thinks he has the damage. There is going to be a more... The, the pass it down on to Bjergsen. Command Shockwave. Not in time. It's Vasily going in off of a little bit of a hunch. And now Wei Zhao and more. Do you have what it takes? Wild Turtle flashing over the wall. Auto attacks. Will they be enough? Zap over the wall. But it is going to be another kill. On to Expecial. No, Expecial's out. Blue buff. A little bit more important. Uh, I should probably turn the, uh, turn the camera back on. Oh no, here I am. Mm. This is actually honey, in case you guys don't know. It's like the secret, uh, secret powers of the shoutcasters everywhere. If you've been casting for, like, a really long time, and you just, like, drink honey, honey water, tea, all that stuff is really good for your throat, so. Tips. If you guys wanted them. Either way, back to the matter at hand, Dyrus. Uh, taking down the the white and returning to pushing that uh, the top lane. Great thing about white positioning is if you're on red side and you uh, and you have a big advantage, you can actually now take not only wolves but also put pressure on blue buff and of course take down that white. And you can see wild turtle with the ward over the wall. 
Gonna be taking down a white of his own. So white's everywhere for TSM. And now, speaking of that blue buff pressure, he's got it out by a ward. Ackerman is trying to take that one down. Vasili's there to steal it away over the wall. Grabbing that down, it's gonna be Ackerman. Going back into that top lane now for Dyrus. And I realized I kind of messed up team sides there for a second. I should also probably, like, put up overlays. Uh, I was completely unprepared for this. This is one of my first times streaming, so I did not have overlays prepared. If you guys do make overlays and have some that you'd like to lend to the Rapid Casting cause, feel free to send me a message on Twitter, at Rapid Casting, and let me know uh, what's, uh, what I need to do. Either way, for right now, uh, there's going to be an engagement there right on a no-name. Such burst damage, very explosions, now it's special. Gonna look to get taken down. Actually survives, but it's the unfortunate demise of Le Wilder Turtelu in the back. And now Bjergsen not looking too strong right now. Another kill comes out there. No name taken down Bjergsen before he can even ult. Ackerman's winning out that top lane matchup. Special's caught in the dragon pit. And out of nowhere, a 4 for 0 exchange and a dragon and probably an objective off the back of that 2 LMQ. Figuring the few things out in between games, so not necessarily making it look easy. But at the same time, you gotta give them some credit. Great dragon fight. That is how you guys do Baron. Or Dragon. Ah, why do I keep confusing those? For the ALCS Grand Finals, there's actually a bet amongst casters that if you said, uh, or it's for NACL Grand Finals, if you said, if you confused Dragon and Baron too many times, then you had to then you got thrown in the pool outside and Nobody did it, so pressure like that would be great, except I don't have a pool. Dyrus doesn't have a lot of options. Top lane gets knocked backwards, makes it out alive. Flash in there from Godlike. He's going to surrender his life for Dyrus. It's a one for one there. Is Ackerman? Actually, Ackerman? Ackerman, please? Stun there, but will go down there. It's actually Bjergsen coming in from behind, stealing away that kill. Um, music's is a little loud. Uh, thanks for the feedback, uh, Endrek Karkanian. Um, I don't know how to say your name because Twitch chat's... Being really weird. Uh, sound? Music volume? I have music really low for like shoutcasting tournaments where you're supposed to be hearing two shoutcasters instead of one. But years of solo casting have prepared me for this uh, opportunity. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. My voice is still completely dying. But this is where I get to plug the Coke Zero Challenger League by drinking out of my nice Coke glass. Either way, uh, time to focus on a few other things. 5,000 gold advantage here for LMQ Tian C. If you're watching and you have no idea who on earth LMQ Tian C are, if you guys are just like, hey, Team Solo Mid's playing, let's go watch them. You're like, who on earth is this other team? LMQ Tian C is a challenger team from, uh, from China. They have moved over to North America to compete in the Coke Zero Challenger League. Coming up next season, hopefully, for LCS afterwards. But uh, after seeing a very strong performance from the LCS team's Denying the attempts at challenger teams to make it into LCS this time around. It's gonna be a rough job now Godlike getting in there's the body slam on to Dyrus Ward in the bush There is the explosive cast backwards actually gives Dyrus a little bit of room to work with Double gap closer is gonna be pretty important. There is the ignite last tick. Will it be enough? Dyrus goes down Zhao Wei Zhao Takes him out zap down there on a no name will Ward jump away but the cuddling comes out right in there on to a special huge command shockwave and special dies dyrus dies but at what coast vasili had no name falling down there at the same time so double kill for wild turtle zero two before that and now wait i turned down game sound to the music oh my goodness i'm actually god at this so there's the volume. Music volume goes... Wait, am I supposed to turn music volume down? I think I'm supposed to turn music down. Okay, I'm, I'm basically a dog right now. I'm trying to broadcast this with two little tiny paws, and it's not really working out too well. Wild Turtle is going to take down bottom lane turret. What was it? To turn down game sound, some music, turn it back up, or Twitch chat will kill everyone. Please no kill Arino. Uh, that's, that's pretty bad. The Twitch onslaught, that's, that would also be very bad. Ah, sweet lord. Uh, either way... Uh, team Solo Mid, uh, a team of legend. Cubes knows all about legends. Um, having a little bit of a rough game so far. They're down and getting doubled in kills by LMQ. And the scary thing about that is not just that LMQ are starting to pick up kills. It's where those kills are starting to fall. Not only do you have a one kill advantage for Ackerman. Uh, he's actually three kills up on Dyrus up there in the top lane. That means that Ackerman, if he wants to split push, has that option because there's no way Dyrus can fight him. Uh, second of all, 4-1-4, the score there for Vasili. His Lucian, he's actually showed a big preference um, 
Twitch chat is on the hunt. I wonder if that means that they're uh, that they have a Sivir ult. Uh, with the new changes to Sivir in the 3.15 patch, on the hunt now lasts actually shorter, unless you're at max rank. So that means that Twitch chat would be on the hunt for less time. Merlo saw that one coming when he changed that when he nerfed the uh, the ultimate for Sivir. So pretty happy about that one right about now. Dyrus, yeah, he's uh, he's not having the greatest time against Akerman. I keep calling him Akerman, I should just stick to Godlike, but either way. Thank you, Diaper King. You're incredibly uh, favorable. Tribex typing the Konami code in chat is not going to be what I want to see, so thank you, Mods, for typing that guy out. Akerman, aka Godlike, getting uh, cut out there by. Uh, excuse me, by odd one just a little bit. Vasily's going to take a red buff for himself. And this is scary for a couple of reasons. It's scary because he's going Trinity Force has that in his item. That gives you a couple of things. It gives you chase potential because of the Phage. You get chase potential because of Ardent Blaze. And then you can chase even harder because the red buff's going to slow you down. There's actually the Flash Timbers way behind the turret. Immediately the ultimate exploding absolutely everyone. Not picking up any kills though. Bjergsen way back in the base. And they're giving in the base, uh... No name. Uh, hello? Please respond. The damage. Vasily gets taken out. I'm going to hit backspace because while I was focusing on the dies, we're going to see the crazy engage once again, just in case you guys wanted to see it twice. Bjergsen with a perfect command shockwave to keep him alive. Look at the duel. Vasily versus Wild Turtle. Dyrus is coming in there. The cuddling. Not going to be enough. Super Mega Death Rocket. Wild Turtle gives the SMD to Vasily. He's taken out. More down as well. A two for zero exchange in favor of Team Solo mid. Turning around that dive. Mm. Shout out to the bear on a tree for the excellent organic honey. It's basically keeping myself alive right now. Wild turtle. Danger zone. Did opt to go for the- Oh, they engaged through the turret. It's special. Going deep in that paint. Dyer is stunned out. Does not have dragons to send more with the nice tippers. And it is a specials overdive. Turret still goes down. Is now godlike. Looking to turn this back. Dyrus gets in there on a Zhao Wei Zhao. Pretty tanky. Knight's actually down. Slice dice away. There's actually the explosive cast. Looking to pick up a kill. No name getting in. There's the aggression from Vasili. The follow up damage is just too much. Sonic wave. Resonating strike. The connection. Now Odd One going to take it trip back to base the hard way he's down and immediately lmq tian c fired back now bjergsen looking to go down there triple kill for no name making a name for himself here against team solo mid to put this in perspective for you guys lmq tian c are a great team from china they are no jokes but going up against uh, tsm is a daunting task for just about anyone out there so to be a jungler uh, like No Name, to be able to make plays like that, countering the engage so hard through the turret, oh my god, that was pretty impressive. There is a, a secure there, especially unable to steal out of way. A <laughs> super mega death rocket, actually. Pretty significant there on to Vasily and No Name. And actually, with the Baron buff regen, that actually could have healed Vasily up just enough so that the super mega death rocket would have killed him if it hadn't been for that regen. So just some stuff to think about, but either way... I see messages being deleted in my chat. That's that means you guys aren't being nice. So please play nicely with the mods. Don't hurt Prius. He's just a dog. We just got him back with his shots. So I don't have to take him back to the vet after this. So be nice, everybody. Dragon is going to go down here to TSM. And that's actually something that they've shown uh, consistent control of uh, over almost every game. This is game three in the series that they're playing against LMQ Tian C. It's just ranked five's... Uh, Q, so not actually any tournament setting but at the same time it's nice to see repeated games between teams because that gives you more than just like a solo queue setting solo queue it's great because you get one situation once but when you play the same team over and over again it gives you the option to learn from your mistakes and exploit any weaknesses they show and at least this game Chansey, we're doubling up TSM at 12 to 6 in kills now they're back to doubling them now 18 to 9 TSM they're gonna have to make something out of nothing is now, it's not exactly nothing, but at the same time, oh my goodness. I'm not missing much. I am. I love to talk to these fine people. Okay, odd one. Um, I mean, yeah, Bromasia. All right, I'm gonna have to hide myself back up because my vocal cords are basically bleeding out of my neck at this point, so... 
Ah, don't worry. We persevere. Never give up, never surrender. Second tier bottom turret goes down as Vasili will take that one out. And after Team Solo mid, every single game, they're playing this very, very aggressively. So they're they're taking early turrets. They're three v one ing solo laners. They actually took the first turret of the game and for the longest time did have that 1v0 advantage. Uh, in turrets. Uh, but as the game progressed, it's just nice to see an LMQ able to not only turn things around, but now that they have the advantage, look at how much they're doing with this advantage that they took back from TSM, who were actually ahead for at least a short time during the early portion of the game. LMQ firing back, just roaming between lanes. Bottom lane, mid lane, second tier turrets going down across the map. Dyrus is going to come there, clean the turret or the wave off the turret, but just taking it up, taking it down. 18 is 9, and now it's 6 to 3 doubles. I guess that makes it a double double there for LMQ as they are having a pretty good game there. Uh, especially, do want to congratulate 636 performance from No Name. He may not be a Korean Lee Sin player, but uh, he's making it look easy. 636, some crazy plays now. Looking for the hit confirmed there on that uh, Sonic Wave. Just looking to go in. Both teams, uh, whether it's more going in or X Special, show that they are not willing. Or they're, they're not unwilling to just dive through turrets. Whether it's more flash tibbers or X special. Look at uh, both supports. You actually see more with the uh, distortion upgrade on his uh, boost of mobility. It's just so he can flash engage longer. With the explosive cast through the turret, there's the engage from X special. Drops that super mega death rocket. Not going to kill off Vasili. There's the cuddling on the Dyrus. Doesn't even break the shield there from Bjergsen. But now with all those ultimates expended... Keep in mind, Moore still has Mr. Tibbers available in his inventory. An upgraded trinket, lo and behold. Coming out from Moore to clear out some of that vision. Flame choppers go down, do catch out onto Godlike. Dyrus gets in there, a lot of damage to come out. One by one, autos down onto the turret. Here's the engage. There's a special going down. The counter engage. There is Tibbers right when you need him. Godlike, huge in the middle of the team. The command Shockwave actually does a lot of damage. More in Vasili, very low turret will fall. And now it's actually Wild Turtle looking to deal some damage to Zhao Wei. Zhao is going to pick up some nice cooldowns. <laughs> when Jinx dies, she forms a heart with her, uh, her pigtails. So some posthumous love there. LMQ are going to have to get out of here sooner than later. Dyrus actually pretty strong. The kill there. By no name, Dyrus, he has so many options. The kill potential is massive, but the death potential equally large. Dyrus flashing out. Arden Blaze, the highest damaging skill in League of Legends. Not really going to, <laughs> to pick up a kill just yet. Inhibitor down. There's the second engage there. Okay, Godlike's just going to suicide. Takes the turret down with him, or the inhibitor, rather. First inhibit of the game goes to LMQ. Being photogenic is my primary concern with this stream. That's why I prepared and dressed up just for you. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. Either way, thanks for being gentle with me. This is one of my first time streaming, so hopefully you guys are enjoying the game. It is not my first time casting, so if you've ever seen anything else I've cast, I do want to appreciate you for not only just watching, but uh, for supporting the North American Challenger League of Legends scene. It's pretty cool. It's also pretty cool to have you guys here, too. So, thanks. If any of you guys are subscribers to the North American Challenger League, you can use the rapid, the NACL Rapid Stare to illustrate my beauty here in chat. If you're not, then go subscribe because we need the give emote that Jared's made for us. A little bit of a shout out to him. A little bit of a slow time in the game. This is where I do things like plug social media, at RapidCasting, and Facebook.com slash RapidCasting as well. Uh, but either way, I do want to thank everybody for tuning in. I hope you guys are enjoying the game. If you have feedback... Tweet it at me on Twitter. Send me a private message here on Twitch. Follow the stream right down below. And you'll be notified whenever I stream all of LMQ or TSM's game. Just kidding. This is the first ones I've streamed. To be honest, they are very impressive. To see a team like LMQ lose two games in a row. Second game, they lost very handily to TSM. First game, they surrendered. Come back so strongly. Just it goes to show that they not only are here for a purpose. They are not afraid to fight up against some of the best teams in North America. I don't think they've played against Cloud9 in Rank 5s yet, but Team Solo Midman, 
These guys are some of the best, and especially with the jungle performance there from No Name. And you gotta look down to the bottom lane. It's Vasili, a guy coming over new to North America with more in his support. I mean, and uh, Lucy and Annie, it's one of the strongest bottom lanes you can get right now. So there is some degree to which that lane wins because it's strong. But that's never, you should never say, hey, this lane won because of the champion matchup, because it's all about how you play it. And Wild Turtle. That guy has done... I've seen him win AP Lee Sin games before. Like, it doesn't matter if you're good, and that guy is one of the best. Uh, together in the bottom lane with Expecial. You know, Expecial had a great game in game number one. He was doing exactly what he's tried to do this game. It's just that everybody else was a lot stronger. And Leona, she's not like a damage-dealing support. I mean, Annie does actually a lot of damage. Thresh does a lot of damage. She has very high base ratios on his skills. Um, but for, for Leona, you're really more about using that uh, Sunlight passive to give the rest of your team damage, help them out as they go in, and when the rest of your team's behind, you don't really want to engage. That makes it a little bit difficult to, uh, live, a li live the life of Expecial. Apparently, I am being told to go, and also that I'm a girl. Shoutouts to Kim the Nuke Jong Un, hottest grill in A. I need to get him in here to mod here. If he's actually watching, then he should totally message me. Here's going to be the attempt at the second base turn of the game. Keep in mind, Super Minions not pushing in that top lane as it has been cleared out by TSM. So they're going to be safe for now. With the Season 4 changes, only that top lane or only that top lane will push with Super Minions. Minions not going to get aggregately stronger across the map. And now we will see some damage start to come down here onto the secondary mid turret. Top lane will start to push in. Bottom lane pushing in as well. It's actually going to be Bjergsen. He is watching. Um, message me with your Twitch mod name so I can mod you, Kim. Uh, either way, um, yeah. Push coming in here from LMQ. They can stay here for days. Baron's up. They can back off and take it. But look at that damage from more. He's using not only Trinity Force, but also the extra procs from Lightslinger. That gets just massive damage out there onto the turret. Down to almost half hit points. Kim. Where is Kim? Do, do, do. Tanner, message me. Push in there, uh, inhibitor will respawn. There's the attempted engage. Now it's actually special, very deep there in the middle. Godlike's gonna dive straight onto Bjergsen, goes down. Nice peel there from TSM. The cuddling coming out backwards there from Vasili. Yes, Porpoise, I will raise my triangles. Please, this is my story. Don't go retelling it anywhere. Dyrus, odd one, and it's special. Uh, nice engage there. Catching out more. Ackerman tried to save that, uh, that team fight. But at the same time, we're somewhat unable to... Uh, give me one small moment here. Do, do, do. Where am I finding people? <laughs> Sorry, I just got to take care of one thing really quickly. All right, much better. Thank you. Um, so, stuff to talk about. Baron, TSM, you know, they're doing. A dragon, a uh, great option. Lots of great gold and stuff to uh, to have there by Vasili, but at the same time, you're giving away a Baron buff to TSM. Great call. I don't actually know who does shot calling now. I think it's actually Bjergsen who's trying to transition to that. Wild Turtle now. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. It's Ackerman, a.k.a. Godlike. We will take it out there. Special and actually odd one there to pick up the kill. And now more flashing over the wall. The engage here very strong, but at the same time, you're going to need some damage. And that is what Wei Zhao or Zhao Wei Zhao is going to bring to this. Dyer is going to get knocked up against the wall, slammed into it. And Zhao Wei Zhao there to pick up a kill. A special there. A little bit behind enemy lines as Vasili grabs the double. Taking out Bjergsen. Now Expecial is going to try to outplay this, but the triple from Vasili. He attack moved through the bush, so he automatically auto-attacked Expecial right before he went in there. But now with the ace. Thanks, uh, thanks, Smokes. You're, you're pretty cool, too. Uh, why do I have a camera to cast? Because this is my own personal stream. Um, I mean, if this were obviously a, uh, a tournament, I probably wouldn't have a camera on. But at the same time, we did have a straw poll earlier that was overwhelmingly successful. Um, if you guys want to continue to uh, vote in that, I'll go ahead and post the links again. So go ahead and check that out. Wild Turtle, he's not long for this. Well, Arden Blaze! 
I didn't know, man. The, the Lucian skills, they do deal damage, and it is there to pick up a kill on to Wild Turtle. The disengage now for LMQ. They have taken down the top lane inhibitor, and, uh, you know, it's going to be respawning here in not too long. A minute shorter respawn timers here in Season 4. Uh, let's see. I saw someone ask, what is this? I uh, didn't catch the username, but either way, uh, this is a ranked 5v5's ladder game between Team Solo Mid taking on LMQ Tianxi. They are a team from China here to compete in North America in the North American Challenger scene. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the game because two games in a row, Team Solo Mid has not overwhelmingly, but have won their games versus LMQ. But here in game number three, the game's not over and it's being taken very, very late so having a big disadvantage in lane, just like look at Bjergsen, 2, 6, and 11, not having all that great of a uh, performance. And then you look over to his lane opponent, Zhao Wei Zhao, 5 5 rather, the score, 300 CS in his inventory. And instead of going for Azania's Hourglass, grabs the other needlessly large rod item with a Death Fires Grasp. The extra CDR actually works out really, really well with Gragas because it gives him lower cooldown body slams, also helps his uh, ultimate. Be up a little bit more often. 48 seconds on an ability that is currently dealing 8, 9, that's uh, it's carry the 2, 1240 damage. So I feel like if you guys watched Kerp play Gragas in the Battle of the Atlantic versus uh, Counter Logic Gaming, you know what those, uh, you know what these, those, those Gragas barrels can do. Just absolutely bleaching everyone across the map. Or at least if you're chasing into Gragas, probably not a good thing to do. Uh, LMQ. A, uh, a nice coke plug there. LMQ looking very strong as now they push in onto, uh, I guess they're looking for another inhibitor turret, but it's all about how they want to go about this because keep in mind, the game's not over. There's enough damage, enough items there on Team Solo Mid that they could definitely turn this around. We've actually seen a special almost single-handedly get the engages that win his teams the team fight. Uh, but now going into that, Vasili's going to try to get in there. Now it's actually Dyrus taking the damage. He's going to get kicked in. Perfect! Lee Sin moves by No Name, the cuddling to hold Odd One and his loving embrace. Flash in there, Odd One burning down, Ignite, Last Tick takes it down. Apologies for yelling, I was somewhat excited. Now second base turret of the game goes down. LMQ dominating so far, pushing in. Wild Turtle's gonna grab an Infinity Edge, a power spike right when TSM need it most. But just look at their base, man. They lost the top inhibitor, bottom inhibitor now down. Timbers through. The turret, Vasili goes godlike, and Super Mega Death Rocket no more will fall. A nice kill picked up there at long range by Wild Turtle. Vasili's gonna 1v1 him underneath the turret. No questions asked, didn't ask permission. He's like, look, I think you understand. Very, very strong performance. LMQ, GG's coming out from Team Solo Mid. They will fall here to LMQ TNC. 33 to 11 and 10 to 3 in turrets. An incredible performance from a, a great Chinese team that's come over here to compete in North America. Holy cow, these guys are good. That is going to be game number three of the evening.